Through time, songwriters have pulled from heart-wrenching current events for inspiration. Today we visit with John Andrasik, who's better known as Five for Fighting. His famous song Superman became an anthem for 9-11 heroes. Now he's writing about Afghanistan. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that night. Superman I wrote when I was hitting the wall of the music business. Um, at that time, I was uh, a little selfish young guy, and I was wanting to be heard. And it wasn't easy to be me. And I wrote Superman. Actually, it was a gift. It came within 45 minutes. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. I'm more than some pretty face beside a train. And it's not easy to be me. I didn't think it was for me, frankly, when I wrote it. I was a rocker. I wanted to maybe give it to Celine or Barbara Streisand. But uh, it was a little song that always, uh, when I played it, got a reaction. And uh, I think the innate humanity of that song that we can all relate to, It's Not Easy to Be Me, I think um, made sense over time. And it's a song I couldn't write now, but it'll always be my first baby. What's the story behind writing The Hundred Years, which is another one that was a big, big hit? Yeah, no, Hundred Years uh, basically came from sitting on, uh, sitting on the couch with my kids, two and three years old. And I tend to be one of those people that kind of obsesses about the past or dwells on the future. It's hard for me to find the moment. Um, a lot of these songs are like post-it notes to myself. And I was thinking, hey, look at this. Dude, you, you know, you're living your dream. You're singing songs that people sing back to you. You have these two lovely children, a beautiful wife. Can you at least recognize this moment right now? The thing I love about 100 Years is that I'm always in that song somewhere when I sing it. I started in the second verse, then I was in the second chorus, and now I'm in the bridge. Pretty soon I'll be in the vamp, and uh, I think we all grow up through that song. When you only got a hundred years to live. What made you decide to write a song about Afghanistan? Yeah, um, I wasn't planning on it. I take no joy in writing this song or putting this song out. But I think like all of us, we were watching those initial images with the first one that really got me was when the, the soccer player fell off the plane to his death. And I had images of people jumping off the Twin Towers. And I'm like, here we go again, what's going on? And then we saw the mothers handing babies over walls. But even then, I wasn't planning on writing a song. I'd go to my studio and I'd just bang on the piano because I was angry and upset. But the song really formed when our 13 soldiers were killed and the 100 Afghans. I was angry. I thought somebody needs to say something. I can't hear her scream. If she's not, she's not, she's not on TV. I can't hear him scream. If he's not, he's not, he's not on TV. To every... Are there people in your life telling you this was a risky thing to do because this could be viewed politically as something that some of your fans or some people might not like? Of course, yeah. You know, my family, with the exception of maybe my dad, was like, you can't put this out. My, my manager is all my music friends. Are, you know, they said, you can't put this out. Are you crazy? But I kept coming back to the song's a moral message. It's not a political one. It's a moral message. If President Trump were president and he got into this situation, I would write the same song. Only the names would change. And um, hopefully this song will inspire other folks to write songs like this, because the Afghanistan debacle is America's great shame, the greatest shame of my generation. And we have to first admit our complicity, then start atoning for it, and not just let our private citizens down there do what our government should be doing. Hands. Got 
blood on my hands Just want American <laughs> Asking What's happening?